What's up loves? Welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute. Well, longer than a hot minute. I have not posted on my channel for the past two weeks and I am so, so sorry about that. If this is your first time on my channel, hi, my name is Anam and I usually always post videos up every single Friday at 2.30 p.m. about my life, about things that I go through, reviews. So if you like any of that stuff or just want to know who I am, press that subscribe button down below and join me. I am so sorry because the last two weeks, actually I'm going to be honest, the last month and a half has just been very, very full for me and I had mentioned in uh, two videos ago that there has been some transitions at work and so we were just getting all of that final and that's why I have not recorded and also I was just like really really tired I had started like working out so I was just trying to find my new normal so I am really really sorry but I am so excited I know I said this before but I really really do mean it and I did mean it before that um, these videos will be coming up every Friday so thank you so much for your patience with me and I decided you know what it has been a really long time since I've been on two weeks and that's like I don't know a million years in the YouTube community. So I want to do a get to know me tag video. I'm going to be answering 25 questions about myself, hoping that you find something interesting or maybe you find something in common. Let me know in the comment section down below because I would love to get to know you more. So let's get straight to the 25 questions. I just found these questions online. It's like the updated get to know me tag video questions. So number one, where did you grow up? I grew up in Washington State. Love this state. I was not born here. I was born in Pakistan, but I've basically been living here all my life. I'm 26, so I've been living here for about 25 years. I moved here when I was only 11 months old, and I absolutely love this state. If you've never been, you should visit. Question number two. Where do you currently live? I live 30 minutes north of Seattle in a little city called Linwood. Love it. It's the best little city. I love living in the suburbs, but then you go out and I, you literally have the mall, you have like, you know, a rec center, you have literally everything in like a five to 10 minute driving distance. It's amazing. So I love it. You should come visit Linwood. It's pretty great. Uh, question number three, who is your first best friend? Ooh. Ooh, yes. Okay, besides my sisters, whom I love and adore, my first best friend would have to be my, ooh, this is hard, probably like in third grade, um, I transferred schools. We were living in Seattle, I believe, um, and then moved up to Linwood and then moved to like a different school in the Linwood area. And my first friend would have to be Samantha Kinsella and I am Muhahal. They were so sweet. I still know them to this day and they're just the sweetest, sweetest girls and they just welcomed me in uh, when I got transferred. So I absolutely love them and I cannot rave highly more about them, but I love them. Okay, number four, how tall are you? I am 5'11". Yes, on the camera it might not look like that, but yes, I am 5'11". I love it. I hated it growing up, but I love it now. I think being tall is so fun. When you wear it well, like you just are so confident and it's like embrace it. If you're tall, hey girl, uh, let me know your struggles because I struggle with being tall too. Finding clothes, finding shoes, like the whole shebang. If you want me to do a video on that, I will do a video on that. <laughs> Number five, dogs or cats? Yeah, uh, if you know me, uh, I don't have either, but if I had a preference, it would definitely be dogs. Don't like cats because they're really, really creepy. <laughs> Number six, funniest moment throughout high school. <sighs> funniest moment. I don't know if I would call it a funniest moment, but I'd probably call it more of an embarrassing moment. Uh, in ninth grade, freshman year, I was I made the volleyball team and one of the game days, I think it's a home game, we had to dress up. And so I wore this cute little black and white outfit and at the time, flared pants were really in. So I had these high-waisted white flared pants, really like bell-bottom status at the bottom. And I am carrying, going to lunch, my backpack, my volleyball bag, a couple binders, books, and a lunch tray. And our steps down to our cafeteria were like cement and I was wearing heels and I literally like tripped 
and I almost thought I was gonna hit the floor on my face but I caught myself and I was like okay I'm fine I made it hopefully no one saw but I'm pretty sure everyone saw but you know what you all have those moments you know it happens and I look back at it now and I laugh about it so I would consider that a funniest moment <laughs> number seven what year were you born 1993 it's a great year. <laughs> Number eight, are you in or have you gone to college? I did. I went to community college right after high school and I thought it was just for me personally a really smart choice because it just gave me some time to figure out what I actually wanted to do with my life um, and the path that I wanted to go. So if you're looking to save money, I highly recommend community college and then you can transfer to a university. So I love it. Question number nine, what is your favorite drink? <sighs> That's hard. I mean, I drink usually water most of the time, but I would say currently right now, it's bubbly. The grapefruit flavor. So, so good. <laughs> Number 10. What is your spirit animal and why? Uh, I don't, my spirit animal? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I feel like my spirit animal would be a fox. Because I think foxes are so, so beautiful, super pretty. They're kind of like, kind of like mysterious in a way i mean i don't know if i'm mysterious but i just feel like i could relate to a fox so my spirit animal is a fox number 11 you're wearing perfume what scent is it that's not really how you would say that question um the perfume that i wear is by Giorgio romani and it's the aqua de jao for women the men's scent is amazing ladies if you're trying to find your man like a really great scent get him the men's aqua de jao Giorgio romani the woman i mean you wear that together like power couple love that scent it is my favorite go-to scent number 12 tea or coffee uh, tea. If you know me, you know I'm a tea drinker, but there's this one place in Seattle that I will drink coffee at. It's Cafe D'Arte or Cafe D'Arte, and it's this Italian coffee, so, so rich and creamy. It is so good. I probably have that like once a month, but I'm a tea drinker for life. Question number 13, what are your life goals? <sighs> Y'all, yeah, man, this is a deep question. Life goals. Honestly, I think I have been thinking more about this and I would have to say my life goals right now would be I just want to love on others. Like I want to be able to love on others for who they are and really, really kind of encourage them to be who they are. Because I feel like sometimes growing up, I struggled with this. Like no one really like told me to embrace myself and kind of like, you know, run with it as we do now in today's day and age. I feel like it's more prominent. And so I would just, you know, encourage to have people embrace who they are and you know who god has created them to be that's like one of my life goals in general but other ones in details i'd have to think on that a little bit okay question 14 what sports do you play or have you played i played volleyball in high school i mean 5'11", you get the picture. And I also played tennis in high school as well. My dad would play tennis with us every single summer as we were growing up and it was just so much fun and I love volleyball. Volleyball is life. I played it for four years and then I also coached it for three years and um, I absolutely loved every single second of it. Okay, question 15. Have any books you read changed your life? Uh, I mean, besides the Bible, um, I would have to say, oh, what book? Oh, um, Redeeming Love by Francine Rivers. If you have not read that book, oh my gosh, it is so good. Like, I was in tears and it's like a fat book. It's probably like this thick and I read it like in the span of like two days because I just could not put it down. I was crying. I was like, there's so much emotion. It was so, so good. That definitely has changed my life in um, regard to just like loving people more and loving people on the journey that they are on and their story. So I absolutely love that book and highly recommend it. Question number 16. What is your favorite movie? <laughs> uh, 
this is so hard because if any of you who know me know that I love movies. Uh, I'm a movie junkie. I'm literally in a movie book club group every Tuesday night. It's the best thing ever. But I would say I can't pick like one favorite movie because I would have a favorite movie in every single genre. But if I were to choose one, I would have to say Pride and Prejudice. It has a great storyline, a great cast, it has romance, it has um, some comedic aspect to it. I love it. I think it is the great movie and I'm talking about the movie with Kara Knightley. So really good. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Number 17. Who are your favorite YouTubers? Oh, um, do I have a list? Some of them that I can name off of my head. Cezanne, she is amazing. I absolutely love her. I love Pickup Limes. Uh, she's a dietitian and nutritionist and she's a vegan and so she like creates these elaborate, amazing, beautiful recipes and I absolutely, absolutely love her channel and I've made some of her recipes before and she's just so great. Other YouTubers that I absolutely love I would say like there's a lot of makeup artists on there. I love Jacqueline Hill. Like I love her makeup tutorials and whatnot. I love Irene Sarah. She's another great makeup artist. And I love her too because she's like Indian and her husband is I believe Pakistani. I believe and it's just nice to see someone else that you know looks like me on my channel and she has foundation swatches and you know colors that kind of match my skin tone so I'm like you know what yes I'm gonna try it out it is so good those are a couple of my favorite youtubers okay 18 do you speak any languages and how well yes English is my second language my first language is Punjabi I would say I speak it pretty well it's kind of like broken up a little bit over the years but I do speak it frequently at home with my parents and with my family abroad in Pakistan and then I can speak like a tiny bit of Urdu which is the main language in Pakistan and then a little bit of Hindi but I can understand Urdu and Hindi very well because I love Bollywood movies so okay next question question 19 are you single or taken I am single and I am loving it loving the single life. I'm just learning so much about myself. I'm 26 years old and I just am like traveling. I'm trying new things. I'm figuring out what I like, what I don't like. And I think, you know, the single season is such a season that people look so down upon because I feel like in our society we kind of like put this lens on of like oh my gosh you need to be in a relationship you need to have like your significant other or your life won't be fulfilled but I find so much fulfillment in my life as a single person right now and in the season that I'm in with you know people that I do life with my family and my friends and ultimately from Jesus and so I love my life I love my single life but I am open too so let me know. <laughs> Question number 20. What is your idea of your dream date? Oh man. I am a hopeless romantic. I love romance books. I love romantic movies. I would say my ideal date, I think I would just want something that would be like, you know, dress up a little bit, go out to like a fancy dinner or go for like a stroll afterwards. And then, you know, the guy dropping you off back home. That would definitely be my ideal date. I know it's super cheesy and so cliche, but I've never really had that experience. I've never dated anyone before so I think the first time when that does happen to me it's going to be really really special so I'm looking forward to it and when that time comes I probably will be filming about it later on so uh, stay tuned. Question number 21. How long was your longest relationship? My longest relationship? Well okay I refrain back from what I was saying. I don't know if I would say what I had with this person was a relationship. We were kind of like figuring out like, you know, if we wanted today, if we didn't, like um, liking each other. So I think we were like testing the waters and that was like, like a month and a half, but I wouldn't really consider that a relationship. I think it was just getting to know each other. So that is the answer to that question. Question 22, how would you describe your fashion sense? I would describe my fashion sense as classy, elegant, and chic. 
Um, I love the royal family. Like, I love their style. And, I mean, I wouldn't wear, like, everything that the royals are wearing. Because, you know, they're royals. And, you know, they have, like, a persona. And they have an outfit that they're supposed to wear for an occasion. But the dresses and sometimes, like, the jeans or, like, the pants that they wear and, like, the ensemble. I'll, like, twist that to, like, what I like. And kind of, like, making it look very just classy. So, I definitely would describe my fashion sense as classy, elegant, and chic <laughs> uh, question number 23 what is your go-to hairstyle hair down curled um very loose curls it's my go-to because you can wear it for like three days it is amazing so much to do question number 24 how many siblings do you have i have three siblings they're amazing and i love them so much two sisters and one brother maybe i'll do a sibling tag i don't know what do you think <laughs> and then question 25 what is your go-to fast food order Oof, this is hard. I don't really eat a lot of fast food, but uh, I would have to say I love Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is the best. And my go-to order, if I'm feeling a little healthy, is the market salad with the apple cider vinaigrette dressing and then a large fry on the side because I just love fries. I can't do a meal without fries if I'm going out to lunch. But if it's not a salad and I'm not feeling like too particularly healthy, I'll probably get their spicy deluxe burger with a large fry, a sweet tea, and then two barbecue sauces and a two buffalo sauces. Mixing them up, it is so good. But that was the get to know me video with answering 25 questions about me. I hope you enjoyed that video and just learned something new about me and who I am. But I am so, so glad to be back on my channel. It's been forever and I don't think I will do that ever again to you guys. Let's hope. I'm not perfect. I'm human. And sometimes I forget or sometimes I get lazy or sometimes life just gets full. One of the three. But I hope all of you loves are doing so great. I miss you all so much. I'm really hoping you have a great week ahead. I'm looking forward to next week and I love you all so much. <laughs>